Right, hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to authorize Lightroom to access your Facebook account, so as you can upload photos directly from Lightbook, uh, Lightroom to Facebook. Um, so in Lightroom here, in the library module, on the left hand side, um, you've got the services you can publish to. You've got Facebook, Flickr and SmugMug. Now, the Facebook um, service was only introduced in Lightroom 3.2 so if you've got Lightroom 1 or Lightroom 2 then you won't have Facebook there by default um, but you can get a plugin and I'll put a link um, in the, the video description of where to get the plugin um, but if you've got Lightroom 3 then you should be on the um, latest version which at the moment is 3.4.1 so you, you should have the Facebook there already. Now I did do some videos previously about using um, Lightroom with Facebook and I'd already authorised um, my copy of Lightroom to access my Facebook. So what I've actually done is I thought I'd do three new videos. The first being this one on authorising Facebook and um, I should do another couple of videos about uploading and creating new folders and naming photographs etc etc so because I'd already authorized um, my copy of Facebook I haven't got this um, little setup link here like I've got in smug mug I've got setup and there was one on Flickr and there was one on Facebook so you should have one um, on your Facebook there so you're just click on that but I'll have to right click and click on edit settings but the same window um, opens. Now before I go any further, um, I'll give you a quick little warning um, regarding browser. When I first done this, I had Firefox as my default browser and it wouldn't complete the authorization process. It would do part of it, but it wouldn't complete it. And I looked online and I found a forum where somebody else had had the same problem. And it turns out that the fault was with um, Firefox and that the workaround was simply just to go back to um, Internet Explorer as your as the default browser while you do the authorization process. Once this is done you can then go back to Firefox. Now they might have fixed it by now because there's been three or four updates since I last well since I first tried doing this. So the chances are that Firefox might be okay now but to be safe and sorry then I would say if you're on a Mac go back to Safari as your default browser and if you're on a PC go back to Internet Explorer but just while you do this um, authorization process so we've got in the description we've got Facebook um, you can type in anything you want but I sort of just type in Facebook now we need to click on this authorize on Facebook so we do that and it gives you a little warning you must authorize Lightroom to access your Facebook account so click OK that takes us to your Facebook account and it brings up the standard Facebook um, window for asking your permission um, regarding applications uh, accessing your account so you click on allow there uh, do you want to allow this website to open a program on your computer allow um, that's all box standard and just click on done and now it's authorized so we've got these little uh, options here uh, Facebook title set Facebook title using IPTC title now what that means is if you've actually given your photographs a title in the metadata then it will use that when it uploads a photo to Facebook but you can set it to use the file name or you can set it just to leave it blank but I use it on IPTC and if you do then it's going to say to you if empty in other words if you haven't given it a title in the metadata what do you want to do leave it blank or use the file name so I just click on the file name now this is one of Adobe's um, stupid questions really. It says when updating photos, replace existing title or leave existing title. Now, if you've uploaded a photo to Facebook 
and you've made the alterations and you re-upload it. And one of the alterations you've made is you've changed the title, then obviously you want to replace the existing title. So that's a bit of a stupid question really. Um, rename, so we don't want to do that because we've already, um, you can if you want, you can, and you've got all these different options here. We just do file name, file name, sequence, date, file name, custom file name, whatever. But as I've already asked it to use the IPTC title, then I won't bother using that. Quality for this, it's normally around about 60%, I think. Um, so I'll stick it to 60 just for the um, purpose of this video. Image sizing um, on the long side, I change that. I leave it at a thousand pixels. Just makes the uploading a bit faster. Sharpen for screen, yes. Um, by default, it's on standard, but I pump it up to high. Um, metadata, minimize embedded metadata. Basically, what that means is if you don't want all your metadata to be published with the photograph then it basically strips it down um, to the bare minimum so but I leave that blank and watermarking if you want to um, watermark your images you do that from here but I don't bother um, watermarking my images not for Facebook anyway so then you click save uh, leave as is that's only because I've already um, done this before and it wants to know if it wants to if I want to republish photographs which are done. So that's how you authorize Lightroom um, to access your Facebook account. Um, like I said, to be safe and sorry, I would change your default browser browser back to um, Internet Explorer or Safari, depending on what platform you're on. Um, but now once you've done this then you can go back to um, having Firefox as your default browser. So this is part one of a three part um, free videos and so I hope it's been helpful and I'll see you in part two. Bye.